You are listening to KC Sports Network, the number one podcast network for today's Kansas City sports fans. With former players from your favorite teams, informed perspectives, and former insiders, this is the place for you. KC Sports Network is proudly presented by m Bank, your partner in Possible. What is up, Chiefs Kingdom? It is Thursday of a game week. The Kansas City Chiefs will travel down to the desert and start their season where they hope to end it in Phoenix, Arizona to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Andy Reid was at the podium on Wednesday. Patrick Mahomes was at the podium on Wednesday. I'll let you know what they said, and I'll also give you an injury report leading into this Sunday's big matchup. All of this right here on today's KCSN Update presented by DraftKings. All right, before we get into the pressers, I'm going to give you the Chiefs injury update. Not very long as of Thursday by the time I'm recording this uh, this year's show. Frank Clark didn't practice on Thursday with an illness. He's not expected to practice on Thursday. Don't really think it's that big of a deal. I'd still expect Frank Clark to be out on the field on Sunday. Now, the Arizona Cardinals got a really long laundry list of, of, of players on their injury report. But before I tell you about that injury report, let me tell you about our friends at DraftKings. And the wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook America's top-rated sportsbook app is officially live in the state of Kansas just in time for football season. That means betting legally on same-game parlays, spreads, money lines, and more anytime and anywhere across the Sunflower State. To celebrate, DraftKings is giving new Kansas customers a can't-miss offer. Bet just $5 on anything and get $200 in free bets instantly. Thursday night is here. Want more action opening night kickoff? Everyone can experience the thrill of DraftKings' early win promotion. Get up seven and you win. Bet on any pro football team of your choice. And if your team leads by seven points at any point during the game, you get paid instantly, even if your team loses. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code KCSN to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet on anything. That's code KCSN only at DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook. Gambling problem? Getting help is your best bet. Call 1-800-522-4700. Must be 21 years or older. Physically present in Kansas. Eligibility restrictions apply. Bonus issued as free bets. One early win token issued at opt-in. Money line bets only. Deposit and wagering restrictions apply. Eligibility in terms at DraftKings.com slash Kansas on behalf of Boot Hill Resort and Casino. All right, let's get into that long laundry list of names for the Arizona Cardinals that they have on their injury report. Now, this is de- injury designations for Wednesday. Arizona's a couple hours behind Kansas City at this point. Daylight savings kind of throws everything off. So this is the official injury report for Wednesday. Got some reports out for Thursday that I'll talk about here in a little bit. But J.J. Watt, Trevon Mullen, Marcus Golden, and Rodney Hudson all did not practice on Wednesday, the first Wednesday practice of the season. That's, I think it's kind of a big deal. They did not practice. First game week, first Wednesday practice. No participation there for them. Another big one that I've been kind of keeping my eye on as the week has kind of been going along is Zach Ertz uh, dealing with a calf injury, much like J.J. Watt is both of those guys dealing with calf injuries. He was a limited participant yesterday in practice uh, with with Aaron Brewer and Jonathan Ward, a couple of names that stuck out to me on the limited side. But in all, uh, they've got quite the list. they got four players that didn't practice. You're looking at um, it's looking like four or five five players that didn't that were limited participants so they've got nine players already on that injury report it's tough early on in this season uh for the arizona cardinals but um let, let me give you some reports from what was going on uh from what reporters were seeing at, at wednesday's practice this is from uh bro brack of phnx and he reports that marcus golden was back at practice the former mizzou linebacker former mizzou standout back at practice um, looking to kind of wreak some havoc on this Chiefs offense. Uh, still no J.J. Watt. They have not seen J.J. Watt yet. Um, I believe he had a bout with COVID, and now he's dealing with also a calf injury as well. So a lot of stuff going on there for the Arizona Cardinals. And J.J. Watt, crazy how they got J.J. Watt and DeAndre Hopkins from the Texans. Maybe that's a whole other podcast that we can talk about that on. But they'll be without likely be about without both of those guys on Sunday. So definitely a huge, a huge blow for the Arizona defense. Um, and also uh, another big one, no Zach Ertz after being limited on Wednesday. So he goes from a limited participant on Wednesday to not practicing 
on Thursday. Now, this could just be a little bit of rest, with especially with the calf injury, not wanting him to overwork it at all. Wouldn't be shocked there. Zach Ertz is a veteran. I think uh, Cliff Kingsbury said in his Wednesday press conference that he's going to be a game time decision. They're going to be smart with him. It's still early on in the season. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw him. Also wouldn't be surprised if we don't see him. Um, so that's another wild card that 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 could be here for this Arizona offense that, that could be sidelined. I think that uh, this is going to be uh, really interesting to watch. Another guy on the offensive side of the ball. Rodney Hudson was back today. He didn't practice yesterday. That was not injury related. A rest is what I believe that they listed it as. So you getting that veteran rest. <laughs> I mean, Rodney Hudson, former chief, former friend um, of the Kansas City Chiefs, getting the rest day in a little bit older. I think the average age is this is brought up on KCS and update average age is close to 30, 35, maybe. I get the rest days in, especially this early on in the season. Good to see uh, an injury report like this. If you're on the Kansas City Chiefs side, uh, you want to be, you want to go against the best. Obviously, JJ Watt not being in there that does stink. He's getting a little older. He's kind of day to day all the time. It seems like Zach Ertz not not. It's gonna be it's gonna be a game time decision for him. Um, didn't really hear anything about uh, Aaron Brewer or Jonathan Ward or. Um, Trevon Mullen even didn't didn't see any reports about him by the time of recording this podcast. Marcus Golden being back is good for that Cardinals defense. But for the Chiefs, if you look at the Chiefs uh, report, Frank Clark not practicing because of illness. It's fine. We know Frank Clark deals with uh, some stomach issues, so that's not that huge of a deal for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, but not having really anyone on there is pretty big, especially after having Marquez Valdez Scantling enter the pro- concussion protocol, Trent McDuffie enter the concussion protocol. After those first preseason games, you're going into the season relatively healthy, and the Chiefs have been one of the healthier teams when it comes to just uh, good luck in terms of injuries. And hopefully they can continue that. That will really help them in their quest to get another Super Bowl is is being healthy. So uh, let let's talk. Let's let's hear from some of the guys at the podium. We're just going to hear from Andy Reid. We're going to hear from Patrick Mahomes. I know that's who you guys want to hear from. So let's hear what they have to say. Let's start with uh, Coach Reid. I, I like Coach Reid. Coach Reed's first quote here, kind of uh, talking about his excitement and getting this the game started, getting getting the season started, and going down and facing a tough Arizona team. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, I, well, I am. I, we've been we're coming off a week here where we just practiced, and uh, so you you're, you look forward to getting started. Um, and we've got a we've got a good opponent to do that against, which even it's even better. <laughs> so it, it's a, it's a great challenge. And, um, and then we're playing at their place where it's loud. So you gotta, you know, at the same time when you're jumping out of your shoes, you've got to make sure you, you calm the storm where you can execute at the best of your ability. So you can get high, just not too high, right? You, you get too high and then you start doing things that aren't, aren't the right things. Patrick Holmes was also asked uh, sort of a similar question about getting started and kind of getting the league or getting the season started, I should say. It has a new look offense, has a new unit. Uh, there's a lot of new guys. They've been going through training camp together and kind of how he's excited to see how they respond to real game action. And here's what he said. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, the biggest thing, I think, is just getting those guys out there. Uh, we've, we've put in the practice now. We've put in the work. Uh, one more week of kind of game planning, getting ready for the Cardinals, a great football team. But uh, I'm excited to see these guys in game action. And uh, preseason is one thing, but when it gets to the regular season, it gets real. So I'm, I'm excited to get these guys out there and see what we got. All right, let's get into kind of the matchups here, kind of talking about uh, what we should be watching. Coach Reed was asked about – you know, the talent of this Arizona team and, and what they have on, on kind of both sides as well. He really mainly focused on the defense here, and he talked about kind of some of these guys to watch on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, well, they've got a good stable of uh, wide receivers there um, and a good good runners, good tight ends. Oh, it's, uh, they, they drafted one this year that's a heck of a player. So um, they, they've got good football players, and, and uh, they're solid up front defensively. Um, JJ's healthy, so you add him into the mix. He, you know, with 44, who's dynamite nine. I mean, you can go through and the, uh, Buddha Baker's. I feel like he's been doing this forever, and he's still flying around like a wild man. So it's uh, you know, there's uh, 25. I mean, they, they're fully loaded on that defensive side. So we, we've got to make sure that 
on both sides of the ball that we, we execute. It'll be very important. One of the biggest storylines kind of coming into this week, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, Arizona Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury, both were at Texas Tech at the same time. That was Patrick Mahomes' head football coach when he was in college. They still keep in touch a lot. Patrick Mahomes kind of touched on their relationship and talked about, you know, how what what Cliff has meant to him as a person and 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 how he's kind of helped develop him as a football player to get him to where he is now. And and here's what he had to say about his relationship with really his opponent this week. Yeah, same. I mean, uh, it's someone who's taught me a ton, uh, not only about football, but about life. Uh, he, he got me kind of out of high school where I was a baseball player trying to play football and basically trying to be on my own. You go, you're leaving the household and kind of being on your own. And he helped me become uh, who I am today. And uh, it'll be uh, it'll be cool to get to play against him. Um, Hopefully I, hopefully I get the win because you'll have those little bragging rights, you know, because I, I see him every once in a while in the offseason and uh, out in Lubbock and stuff like that. So uh, it's definitely going to be an awesome moment that, I, that we'll have forever. Just hopefully I, I, I get the win so I get those bragging rights uh, for the rest of the time. I, say, how often do you keep in touch with I stay in touch with them a good amount. I mean, we talk about Texas Tech football. Uh, one of our guys, Zach Kitley's the offense coordinator, who was with us there at Texas Tech. Um, and so uh, we kind of keep in touch through all kind of a group message with all those guys. And so uh, it's uh, it'll be cool to get to go up against them. Won't be a lot of communication this week. I know that. So uh, it's uh, it's uh, we're gonna go out there, and I know he's gonna have his team ready to go. Uh, he, he has the track record where they start off fast and they do a lot of great things. So we're gonna have to have our best effort if we want to go out there and win a football game. Patrick, when Tech when Tech first started recruiting you, was that your junior year? Were they sort of the first? On board. They're they're really the first and only because I, I didn't get recruited by by much. I mean, I got a couple other offers uh, from uh, some smaller schools and stuff like that uh, in the Texas area, but they were the one school and I, I credit read it to Kingsbury. He was the one that came down, saw me, talked to me, uh, talked to my family, and did everything like that and believed in me. And I think that's what that's the reason I'm in this position is he gave me that chance. Mahomes was asked a follow up question there when he was talking about Cliff Kingsbury. He said, "Hey." Um, does he know how to stop you? Is, is he going to know how to stop you? This is the first time they faced each other. Um, and so here's what Patrick had to say about Cliff knowing how to stop him. Uh, I hope not. I haven't played against him yet. I haven't played against him yet, but uh, I'm sure he has a few more uh, tricks that he might know from my college days, but I feel like I've grown a lot in those since I've been in the NFL. So uh, hopefully we can combat that, um, but uh, I'm sure he has a, a good idea of who I am, but uh, it's, it's, it's a hard offense to stop altogether, and I think that's what makes his offense so great. Coach Reed also shared his thoughts on, you know, his quarterback's relationship with the opposing coach and even talked about, you know, his time at talking to Cliff Kingsbury at, when he was at Texas Tech, trying to get a little scoop on Patrick Mahomes and everything like that. So here's what Coach had to say about Coach Kingsbury and, and, and Patrick Mahomes' relationship. Obviously, they're close. And, um, uh, he, Cliff's a tremendous guy, and, and I think he's a heck of a football coach. Arizona's lucky to have him in that in that capacity there. And he does a great job with the offensive side of the football. So, um, he, you know, he, he loved Patrick and, uh, he, he thought he'd be a great professional football player. Um, even though maybe the offense, you know, was different, but you're seeing his offense now be very, very successful. And you're seeing Patrick also be very successful. So, um, you know, but at that time it was kind of new to the NFL and, all coaches thought that you'd have this big change, you know, yeah, that really, uh, you really didn't need that. So you maybe yeah, didn't yeah. need Cliff's input uh, exactly on Patrick, I guess, but, but did it help? I mean, it, it oh just... no, absolutely, yeah, no, he was great with it, yeah, no, and I respect his input. So um, that, it was uh, one of the reasons that we we went after Patrick as hard as we did. All right, sticking with Coach Reed here. Obviously, no Tyreek Hill this year. I'm sure you guys have heard that somewhere on some podcast. I'm sure that you've heard that there's no Tyreek Hill on this team anymore. So there's a new look offense. There's going to be some guys in places that haven't been places for the Kansas City Chiefs before. Andy Reed talked about that and, and what he kind of expects, what he's excited to see uh, from this new look offense moving forward and into week one. We do have new bodies in there. Um but most of these guys have played, um, and the new kids, I, I think they're feeding off of the, the old guys. Um, and you know, on the other side of that, we're we're all pulling for Tyreek to have a great year too. So, but these guys have done a done a nice job of uh, working with Pat. They spent a lot of time in the off season with him, and 
um, and they have played in games. That would be the one positive on, on that. Are you excited to see like a full game though? Because you just get little bits and pieces and yeah, practice sure. and all yeah. that stuff. So this oh, absolutely, is absolutely. Uh, you know, look forward to seeing the, everybody, right? Everybody play together um, for a full game. You just get a taste of it during preseason. So, and, and there are things that go on with the wide receivers because you got a lot of moving parts in there. Um, what guys subbing in and subbing out and doing that for four quarters is, uh, again, that's a good challenge. All right, fantasy football players, look away. Patrick Mahomes was asked about, you know, who's who's the guy to kind of rely on on this offense, and he said, hey, you know what? You're going to have to try to pick the best guy. So <laughs> that's not what you want to hear as a fantasy football player when you're trying to select uh, Kansas City Chiefs players. But it's good to hear that if you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan that they have such some unpredictability in terms of the offense. Here's what he had to say about this new look offense and, and the whole plethora of weapons that he has now. I think the I mean, biggest thing is it's going to be, I think there's going to be a, like a different player every single game that has the big game. It's not going to be just necessarily Tyreek and Travis every single week where it's like one or the other is having a big game or both. It's going to be every single week it's going to be someone different. So I'm sorry to all you fantasy football uh, guys, but it's going to be, it's going to come from everywhere. So you're going to have to kind of choose the right guy every week. All right, let's wrap it up here with this last quote from Patrick Mahomes. I really like this. Look, the Chiefs have been in four straight AFC championship games they've been to the super bowl a couple times how does this team stay motivated patrick mahomes was kind of asked that how do they how do they get going how do they get up and, and get ready for the challenge of facing the arizona cardinals and he had a really good quote about it here's what he had to say yeah, I think it's just keeping the edge, uh, keeping the edge of just going out there every single day and getting better. Um, we, I mean, we have a lot of new guys, but we have some guys that we've had for a long time, and you don't want to get complacent with where you're at. Um, you want to make sure you're getting better and better, and we have to set that example and keep that edge so that the guys that have came in here, they they, they understand that and they know how to get better. Um, and so uh, we can start off this week one, hopefully get a win, but keep building as the season goes on. All right, that's going to do it here for me at KCS and Update. Thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of this video, all the way to the end of the podcast. Really appreciate you guys making KCSN just one of many places you can go to get phenomenal Chiefs coverage, phenomenal Chiefs content. So thank you very much uh, for, for hopping in and enjoying some time with us. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. Subscribe to the KCSN YouTube channel. Uh, we really appreciate that. If you're listening to the audio on the audio podcast, leave a five-star uh, review rating and real leave a review if you're so inclined let us know how you like the shows on the network also hey if you're a big college football fan like myself go over to kcsnu our youtube channel you our new youtube channel dedicated to college sports so you can go give that a follow give that a subscribe like the video share with your friends um, I'm a big college football fan. I'll be out of Manhattan cheering on my Missouri Tigers in enemy territory on Saturday. So, listen, if you want to stay up to date with college football, you can do that on our KCSNU YouTube channel. Very excited to get that sucker going. All right, so tomorrow I will not be here. It'll be BJ Kissel with Trevor Sikama. They will be going over the key matchups for this Cardinals and Chiefs game. You're not going to want to miss that, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. There's a lot of them, I know, but you're not going to want to miss what we have coming up for this season. So I'll be back next Thursday talking about, you know, something else about the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see when that time comes. So until then, I'll talk to you guys next week.